Hi everyone! In today's episode, we're going to see the part 2 of the best sold on scripts for architectural visualization projects. Circle Array can help us to distribute objects around a circle. There are only a couple of important settings to control. Number of copies, to select how many objects are we creating, and object type. In this case, I recommend using instance. In this example, we're going to use effect pivot only and quick align to change the chair pivot to the center of the table. First, go to hierarchy pivot, then select the effect pivot only button. You're going to see that the pivot icon is going to change and we're going to be able to move the pivot only without the chair. After this, go to tool, align, quick align, or what I recommend, pressing shift plus A to access the quick align option and then click the table. You can see that only the pivot point has been moved to the center of the table. Turn off Affect Pivot Only and using the Circle Array Maker script, change the number of copies and click Apply. Now that you know how to use these tools, we can repeat the same process for any other object. This process works well for single objects, multiple objects, or even groups. And remember, if it's not working properly, use the Edge form. This solved most issues with pre-built placing. Object Dropper can help us to quickly place objects on top of a surface using the object pivot point. The first thing we're going to do is move the pivot to the bottom of the object. For this, we can use the pivot placer script. We have two buttons to select the surface object. The first, and the one that I recommend using, is Pick Ground Object. It will allow us to pick the object from the viewport without deselecting our current object. But this only works if we are selecting just one surface. For more than one surface, we need to select the Add Selection to Ground Objects button. It's not possible to add new surfaces to the list. If we try to do it, the script is going to override the previous surface for the new one. We're going to keep all the settings as default and press the Apply button. We can see that the pot has been moved to the top of the surface using the pivot point as a reference. We have a few additional options. The first one is treat group as one object. When this is checked, the selected group is going to be moved using the group pivot point. In this example, the pivot is in the middle of the group and the pods have different heights. After we press the apply button, we can see that one of the pods is under the surface due to the location of the group pivot point. If we uncheck this option, we're going to use the pivot of the objects inside of the group, even if the group is closed. And as both pods have the pivot point at the bottom, once we press the Apply button, the pods are going to be moved to the top of the surface. This is really useful for groups with multiple objects like accessories or vegetation. We just need to make sure that the pivots are placed correctly. Group Direction can help us to select the direction in which the objects will move. We can select from Edge, Y, and Z, positive or negative axis. This will allow us to move the objects to walls or ceilings and not only to the floor. We can use these for ceiling lamps, frames, or even vertical vegetation. And the last one is Align to Ground. I recommend having this option always check. What it's going to do is to move the selected object and then align it to the surface using the pivot point orientation. This is really useful for uneven or angled surface. One last recommendation, if the tool is not working properly, remember to use Reset Edge Form. This can help most problems with pivot placing and orientation of objects. Object Replacer is one of my favorite tools. With this script, we can select an object and then replace it for any other object in the same scene. In this example, we're going to replace the pot for the pepper grinder. We have three replacer types, single object, selection set, and multiple objects. The one I recommend is single object. This can give us the most predictable results and it's really easy to use. We're going to use the Pick the Object to Replace With button to select the Pepper Grinder. If you're going to replace a group with multiple objects inside, it's really important to open the group and select the Group Helper instead of selecting the Close Group. It is also really important the position of the pivot point. We can use the Pivot Placer to change it to the bottom of the object. Then, we're going to select the pot and keep all attributes checked and press the Apply button. In this example, the object was replaced correctly, but the scale in the name is wrong. To fix this, we're going to go to the Selection Attributes to Keep. In this section, we can select which attributes from the original object we're keeping. 
as we know that the scale and name are not correct, we can uncheck these two options. And then press the apply button. After this, the new pepper grinder is going to have the correct scale and name. The attributes we're keeping depend on the objects we're replacing and the project. So this is going to change most of the time. The next option is delete original. If this is unchecked, the original object is going to remain in the scene. This is useful if we think we may need to use this object later. Also, remember to always work with instances. We never know when we need to change the object shape or material, and this can help us to modify all objects at the same time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.